What is good YouTube? This is your boy Logan FPS and I want to sit here and try to help everybody to get good volume settings with the PS5. If you're new to the channel, go on like and subscribe, going to get into it step by step or what helped me hear a lot of footsteps better in the game and let's get into it. First thing first, what we want to do is we're going to go to the sound setting. Uh, make sure your input device is either to your controller, if you have it plugged up to the controller with your headset that is wired, or if you have a Bluetooth, make sure your input device goes to Bluetooth. Um, we're going to also go here, and first thing that I want to make sure is turn off mono audio settings for the headphones. Uh, mono audio settings uh, actually put the left and the right sound together, and you don't want that. You want to make sure you want to tell what area uh, the footsteps are coming from. Either they could be above you, below you, left, right. And now we're gonna also get into the good part. Uh, if you have a PS5 and it's updated, I highly recommend enabling 3D audio uh, for your headset. So what happens is if you go, so you can see here that you can adjust your uh, pitch from type one down to type five, type five being the lowest pitch, type one being the highest pitch. You can also go ahead and just adjust those to whatever you like. And here, as you can see, you got different type of compare when it comes to stereo and 3D audio. 3D audio is more surround sound uh, that can actually give you more detail in the game. And stereo is just more left and right. Doesn't give you that much detail, but I highly recommend going and choose the 3D audio. And speaking of surround sound, uh, I do have a surround sound headset that I like to use is the JBL quantum 600s i really do like these headphones a lot it helped me out and when i put it on my bluetooth i can hear a lot of audio very clear also when it comes to the 3d audio enabled for the headphones it gives me a lot of detail of what area the enemies can be coming up left right top or bottom and also we're going to jump back over here if you're in a group chat and you want to actually adjust your volume you can also do that make sure your output volume is in a good uh, setting whether it can be the headset controller or either your Bluetooth make sure it's in uh, a Good area to put this in and If you're in a group chat, you know if your homies is kind of loud you got kids crying in the back Something that is like, you know bothering the audio if you're hearing your footstep What I want you to do is actually use the audio balance and push towards left so what that does is it put more volume into the game and put less volume into the group chat but if you you know if you got a good group chat it doesn't have a lot of noise going on in the background what i would do is go ahead and just adjust it to whatever you like best to your sound setting and i also want to talk about the end game setting that i have when it comes to uh my ps5 so we go ahead and head over to audio my audio mix uh, me personally is on headphone bass boost and that can also give me a better frequency when it comes to footsteps and uh better hearing when it comes to the game as you can see, I do low-key blow my eardrums out. It is at 96. It's pretty high. But like I said, I also go back to the group chat of the sound, and I just adjust it the way I like it, even here at this volume button, uh, to wherever I like, give you more options. Uh, me, personally, I turn the music volume off. Anytime that I have the volume, music volume up in Modern Warfare 2 or Warzone 2, it actually kind of fucks with the pressure of having some type of anxiety <laughs> when it comes to a clutch of 1v4 or 1v8 or when I'm the last one alive. Uh, that's just me personally. I mean, people are different. Dialogue is more of the audio, uh, more of the operators that's in the game. When they're close by, they can kind of talk around. They just like, chat and do stuff like that. Uh, effects volume is more of the in-game effects, which comes to footsteps, doors being opened, windows being busted. Those things actually do help you. And voice chat volume, I have it kind of low because when I go into game chat, I want to make sure that the volume that people hear me with is not too loud over the audio in the game. So that's what I do personally to try to adjust my volumes. And what we're going to do is we'll go into a private match and we're going to actually uh, give it a try and make sure we can observe these footsteps very clearly. As you can see there, the enemy was behind me. I was able to move. And I can see with detail of where he's at when I move around. You can see he's coming from my right. Avoid him. One, two. 
now you can see I can hear footsteps very clear, even my own footsteps. And you can hear enemies, you can dictate what area they're coming from. As you can see that loud and clear, I'm able to hit a footstep of an enemy. Direction enemy could be. As you can see, loud as day. I can hear his footsteps just as fine. He's just walking around. I can tell what side he's coming from. Sees above. Sees down. So the audio for me has been working very well when I put it in these settings. Uh, if it does help you out, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe, baby. And uh, just want to in the future give more tips and tricks for PS5. I do currently know that it has been a few audio problems in Warzone 2 when it comes to people being close you really can't hear them. Hopefully in the future they fix that, but for now, let's just see in the future what becomes for the upcoming things for Modern Warfare 2. But until next time, see you then.